Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here to discuss a common question I get on my YouTube channel as well as my website. Can metformin contribute to ED? Does metformin cause erectile dysfunction? Uh, maybe. I, I was always quick to say, no, it actually can prevent it. And I still believe it's more beneficial than not, but in certain cases it can contribute to erectile dysfunction. So some of the main causes of erectile dysfunction, of course, insulin resistance, high cholesterol, high cholesterol can lead to narrowing of the arteries, high blood pressure or hypertension, diabetes, level of testosterone in the male body, uh, that can contribute, as well as lifestyle. Of course, we know like smoking and sedentary lifestyle, just um, you know, the body can't function like it's supposed to if we don't take care of it. And again, metformin does still seem to be more beneficial than detrimental when we take when we're talking about erectile dysfunction. So we're going to look at three different journal articles I pulled on the subject. The uh, links will be in the video description below, so you can check those out if you want to read more about it. First one is from the Journal of Tau. Uh, andrology and urology journal um, they identified three main causes major mechanisms have been identified uh, causing ED first one is can the blood vessels dilate properly of course to allow blood flow the other one can the nervous system react appropriately to allow proper function and then the other one are the blood vessels narrowing so in addition, it says uh, insulin resistance is contributing to this, which we kind of discussed already, including obesity, dyslipidemia, high cholesterol, uh, diabetes, and hypertension or high blood pressure. Now they found metformin improves uh, two of the three main mechanisms, two of those three pathways, helping the blood vessels react properly, as well as the nervous system uh, provide an appropriate response to stimulation. Does not have a uh, effect on blood pressure. So they're, they're finding that, yes, metformin has positive effects, which only makes sense. Diabetes, high continual high blood sugars really wreaks havoc on the body, especially those smaller blood vessels that are important for erectile function. Okay. We look at another one here from the Journal of Current Vascular Pharmacology. Oftentimes, hand in hand with diabetes, we see coronary heart disease. They just, they're related. Diabetes probably causes, or it does cause coronary heart disease. So, and of course we know smoking, blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, all contribute to erectile dysfunction and because the blood vessels cannot react properly. So what did they find in this study? It was interesting. Certain blood pressure medications like uh, the water pills or beta blockers like metoprolol, um, propranolol, some of those can cause some erectile dysfunction. Um, but some of the other ones like the renin angiotensin system inhibitors, those would be medications like lisinopril, losartan, um, and then calcium channel blockers like amlodipine, they have a neutral effect on erectile function. And then they, the hypoglycemic drugs or diabetes medications, metformin and pioglitazone. Pioglitazone, generic for actose, um, presented favorable, favorable results. Again, so we see that improvement in high blood sugar. Of course, erectile function is going to improve. Statins, uh, cholesterol medications, they think that may contribute a, a detrimental role. So that's something to consider as well. For me, this just points out, we really, I mean, if you're not willing to live with the side effects of diabetes, you really need to take control of your diet and lifestyle. I've, you know, I see people with diabetes every day in the pharmacy. That is my motivator to exercise every day, to really kind of watch my diet. I mean, medications help in, you can control diabetes really well with medications, but it's even better if you can get it under control with diet and lifestyle. But, you know, that's something you have to talk to your doctor about. 
but really think about the poor food choices or deciding not to exercise, you have to live with the potential side effects that can occur, such as erectile dysfunction. So here's the one uh, that was interesting, showing metformin could contribute to erectile dysfunction. Uh, this is from the Journal of Clinical Diagno Diagnosis and Research, um, erectile dysfunction, low sex drive. What they found is metformin can lead to significant reduction in testosterone levels. Um, so that, that's something to consider, uh, whereas sulfonylureas, I cover those in my diabetes medication video. Uh, check that out if you want to read more about the sulfonylureas. They um, actually can help improve testosterone levels. So that's something to keep in mind. They are sometimes uh, used in conjunction with metformin, so that's something you could talk to your doctor about. Another important thing for testosterone is weight. Um, just losing excess weight that it seems the adipose tissue or the fat tissue can almost act like a sponge and reduce the amount of circulating testosterone in the body. So another opportunity for us to consider lifestyle changes to improve our overall health. So I, I hope you found this video interesting. Um, give you some information to go talk to your doctor about if you feel like you're having ED issues with your diabetes or diabetes medications. Just remember there are many factors um, and you talk to your doctor if you feel like your medicine is contributing to them. Overall, to me, it still looks like metformin is probably better to take than not to take, especially if you have diabetes. Your, um, but again, that would be a conversation you can have with your doctor and ask questions in the comments if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel if you appreciate this information. Thanks for watching.